man is the architect of his own fate I do not see any possibility of the natural death of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Putin's only consequence is that former Bosnian Croat General Slobodan Praljic, who led the Muslim genocide in Bosnia and Herzegovina, committed suicide by taking potassium cyanide while standing on the bench of the International Court of Justice in The Hague, the Netherlands, or in a banker like Hitler committing suicide. Other than that, I don't see any consequences for Putin. In the next three to five years, the situation of Russian citizens will be different from that of Zimbabwe or Somalia by the way Putin is taking Russia. Just as Hitler gifted the world the bodies of one and a half million people before his suicide, Putin may follow in the footsteps of Hitler and Radovan Karadzic after killing millions. Sanctions imposed on Russia in the last 24 hours, 1. North American airspace is almost completely closed to all Russian airlines. 2. Boeing, the world's largest aircraft manufacturer, has announced that it will not head any of Russia's airlines, from equipment, repair services to everything related to aircraft. In the next 24 to 48 hours, Airbus, the world's second largest aircraft manufacturer, will make the same announcement. 3. The world's three largest maritime transport companies Maersk in Denmark, Maersk in Switzerland, and CMACGM in France have announced that they will not deliver any goods to Russia. These three companies transport about 70 to 80 percent of the world's goods by sea. 4. Apple has announced that they will not supply any products to Russia. 5. The credit card company has announced the closure of the MasterCard service. 6. Technology companies in America and Europe have announced to stop supplying technology to Russian oil and gas companies. 6. The world's electronic technology relies entirely on semiconductors and the companies in South Korea, Taiwan and Japan supply these semiconductors worldwide. No company from these three countries will supply semiconductors to Russia. 6. The world's largest airline leasing company has cancelled its contracts with Russian airlines and announced the return of the aircraft. 9. Ford, one of the largest car manufacturers in the world has announced the closure of its operations in Russia. 10. President Biden has announced to seize all the assets of Russian billionaires in America who are the main accomplices of Putin's corruption. 11. Canada has similarly begun to seize the assets of Russian billionaires, the main accomplices of Putin's corruption. 12. Apple Pay and Google Pay have stopped operating in Russia. 13. Exxon Mobil the world's leading oil and gas company, has announced that it is cancelling a multi-billion dollar deal with the Russian oil and gas company Rosenfold. British Petroleum, one of the world's leading oil and gas companies, announced two days ago that it would sell all of Russia's assets. In a similar vein, France's Total, one of the world's leading oil and gas companies, has begun negotiations with the French government to seek permission to sell all its assets. The above three companies are among the top five oil and gas companies in the world. 14. Canada announces war crimes charges against Putin at the International Criminal Court. The Ukrainian president has already filed war crimes charges against Putin at the International